You're watching Mental Health with Marcy, and I'm Marcy. In today's video, we're going to talk about losing patience and losing hope. And if you've ever struggled with depression, hope is a really big factor because for me personally, anyway, uh, when I'm struggling, especially depending on the severity of the depression, it's really hard to see that light at the end of the tunnel. There's really, it's really hard to have hope that you're never or ever going to be out of this state that you're in. And there's, that's, I think, a really defining feature of depression is just not being able to hope for the future. And I think a lot of us struggle with patience, whether we struggle with mental health or not. Um, but me personally, I'm very impatient. I want results right away, <laughs> instantaneously. And I think a lot of us want instant gratification. And unfortunately, in a mental health journey, a lot of times, it just, it doesn't happen that way. And so that's how I've always had to think about it as, you know, the journey is not a straight line um, in terms of your mental health recovery. It's really a lot of bumps along the way. And so I always like, like I want, okay, I've uh, come up with this recovery solution and then I'm just magically on the path upward. And that again, at least in my experience hasn't happened. If your experience is a straight line in your recovery, that's great. That's great for you. I'm seriously, I do mean that. I'm not joking. Like, that's wonderful. Um, I hope everyone can, you know, have that, <clears throat> excuse me, have that straight line. But unfortunately, it's just not the case for a lot of us, um, especially if you're dealing with any kind of medication journey, um, like I still am. I have tried don't even know how many medications so far and still haven't found the right one for me. So I have an appointment next week to see what I can do. And so it's just frustrating when, you know, you feel like you're doing all the right things and yet it's still, I don't know, I don't want to say it like still doesn't work out, but it's just not, you're just not at what you hope to be. And so I don't think that any of us in our mental health recovery journeys can really hope to be, I don't know, 100% happy all of the time. We're just jumping for joy, I talk about in therapy. Like, that's not, like, a natural state. Like, not for me. Um, and so that's not, like, where I'm going to measure my success um, or lack thereof. But there's still, I think, potentially for a lot of us and me personally, like, a lot of steps in between, right? You know, there's a lot... Of steps between you know suicidal depression versus like jumping for joy which I don't think anyone really is but just kind of I'm hoping for that kind of like general contentment I don't know where the line is here um, but it's just not there yet and you know things are not working out as quickly as I would like and that's again where that patience comes in because it seems like I'm always kind of waiting for the next appointment um, as I think I mentioned in another short video, I also struggle with chronic pain. And so having those appointments, kind of chronic pain and depression intertwined, are a really bad mixture. Like if you've ever experienced that, just, they don't mix well. And so just having to wait for those appointments and then waiting for my psychiatrist appointment, which I made um, over two months ago. And so it's just like, because I had to wait till I could get in. And it's, it's just frustrating um, to deal with that. And so that's just kind of where I am is just in a state of frustration. And then, of course, um, really frustrated with the pandemic, as I'm sure everyone else is kind of thinking we're going to get out of it. And then, you know, we're back here to square one, it seems it feels like anyway. And so it's just really hard to see that light at the end of the tunnel. And that's kind of where I'm at. I'm just. Ugh. I'm just irritated and frustrated and I just wish I wasn't. And, you know, I'm not at, you know, a terrible place, but it's just not, I don't know. It's really hard to look on the bright side, really see that, um, that light and see that everything is going to be okay. You know, everyone's like, oh, hang in there. And, you know, it's true. We should all hang in there. I know I just made fun of that, but we should all keep on keeping on. It's just... I guess frustrating when you don't see, you know, what, you know, what's going to come like the, 
joy, happiness, you know, somewhat contentment. Like, it's hard to see that when you're just, everything is not, um, everything's just taking so long and it's just frustrating and that hope is just, it's just not there. And so I do hope that hope, huh, see, I'm really punny. Um, I hope that you all, um, have more hope than me and more <laughs> can see more light at the end of the tunnel. I hope that, you know, this is, this is only a me problem and that no one else is dealing with this because I don't want anyone else to be experiencing what I'm experiencing. But if I were to guess, I imagine, especially mental health wise, and even with the pandemic, just it's really hard to continue being patient and um, having hope. So clearly I haven't figured that out yet. So if you have any suggestions or tips, let me know. I'm sure others would be grateful um, to learn more and to, to hear your stories because I'm just, I'm just beyond, beyond frustrated. And I just want, um, I just, I don't, I don't want to say I want to be happy. I <laughs> just, like I said, I want that like somewhat contentment. Like, is that so hard to ask? Um, so yeah, I think that's about it for this video. I just want to share one thing quickly with you. This is my filming buddy. So she requested the pets during, um, yes, during the video. And so she was also trying to be um, very loud and yawning and breathing loudly like that. And I was, so I told her, I was like, that's not going to work for this video. So I was like trying to hold her mouth shut. It really wasn't working that well. But she's very cute. So now that's the end of the video. We can listen to her heavy breathing. So thank you so much for watching and stay well, my friends.